So picture this, you're just, you know, hanging the Christmas decorations, deck the halls. Ah, uh, you see something come out of the Christmas tree, little specks, and then you look a little closer, mites coming from your Christmas tree. It happened to one family twice. Tonight, Four in Your Corner's Mallory Safosti showing you how to prevent these pests from taking over your home. This Christmas, there could be a lot more than ornaments hanging from your tree. According to Safer Brands, uh, there, there could be up to 25,000 um, different pests um, in a tree. Uh, most commonly aphids, um, spiders can get in, um, beetles. These are mites, and they were hibernating in a family's Christmas tree. After several days of settling into their new home, they decided to hatch and crash the party. Once introduced into a warm environment, such as a house, they tend to reactivate um, and uh, wreak havoc uh, around the Christmas tree. Nobody wants uninvited guests. Pest czar Sasha Milankovic recommends vigorously shaking the tree in the parking lot, leaving it sit in your garage a few days, visually inspecting the tree for any pests before you buy, using a leaf blower or pre-treating the tree before it's brought into your home. Mites and aphids are a little harder to notice, uh, but it might look like a, a white um, and black specks, almost like salt and pepper specks around the pine tree needles. According to Jeff Nickel, bug breakouts are uncommon. He's been selling trees for 58 years with just one complaint of a mite infestation. Because all these trees are cultivated, they're constantly being sprayed for needle cast and disease and insects. So that's why you don't have a problem. But a lot of these tree farms where you cut your own tree, they can't afford to do that. So that's, they're the ones where you're going to get the problems. And there has been problems with the cut your own places. He and other tree farmers can't guarantee a bug free Christmas tree. But Nickel says he comes close. And that's way better than the artificial alternative. Every one person that walks off here says the price is too high. I'm not going to spend that money. I'll get an artificial tree. We'll have two people come back that had artificial trees and one live tree. They can't capture the smell of a live tree. If that happens, it could be trouble. Nothing beats that fresh smell. Christmas tree pests are typically not harmful to humans, just to the tree. For more information on products you can use to protect your tree, you can just head to our website, fox4now.com.